Mac kids 101 here today. This is going to be a brief DAS vs Unix video. Um, let's get started by showing you a few DAS things. Right now, I have my Windows Me box right here. Its screen is displayed on my screen. Windows Me happens to be based on DAS, and right now I am running a DAS prompt. So the DAS prompt is DAS. Okay, so DOS is a Microsoft operating system um, that Microsoft worked very hard on that um, is pretty simple. You can only really have one program running at once, and the uh, file system and the boot scripts and everything is pretty simple. So um, first of all, the DOS prompt has a CD by default, so you can CD the backslash. Um, and that'll take me to my C drive. Um, if you have another drive, um, instead of um, everything being in slash, everything is in either C colon or any other letter colon. Um, so you can type like H colon to go to an H drive, like and then hit enter. Of course, I don't have an H drive. Um, but you can do whatever you really want to with that. Um, so I'm just going to type... Um, a few commands and show you how to do stuff. Um, DIR is the equivalent of LS. It will display everything. DIR slash S is the equivalent of LS dash LR slash or just LS dash LR. And then I'm already in C, so it'll display everything on my C drive. Um, this is a pretty slow connection to my computer, so you might not see anything really, really decent. So that's a nice thing. Like I've just done, you type CLS to clear the screen. Um, of course, it's still CD. Um, you can make dir instead of CP or MV to move or copy. It spells it out. Okay, so I'll just show you one more thing. There's a word processor called Edit, which can edit text files. So I can edit, um, let's edit autoexec.bat, autoexec.bat, um, gets run when the computer starts up, so anything in there gets run right away. So, um, here you see, um, my autoexec.bat file is empty, you have to use the normal keys to do this, uh, you can use the arrow keys to go down to exit. Edit is a nice little text editor. Just click X. Okay, um, so you can also pipe. There is a way to pipe. Um, I'll just pipe this into more. There is no grep. The only real pipey thing I know is, um, more. So you can edit. It's actually autoexec.back. Oh, and the um, file system in DOS is not case sensitive. So, um, anything you uh, type, like c any files you type, any commands are not case sensitive. No files are case sensitive. Um, nothing's really case sensitive. You do need file extensions. This is based on file extensions. So, you can see. Um, this uh, starts up command. So this is my auto exec app back. You can add stuff to there. Like I can add rm rf slash, except that's not a command in DOS. Dell is the equivalent of um, rm in Windows. So um, you can go to any other drive by typing you know, the letter and a colon. Um, in DOS, you can just. Um, let me just show you. Everything's pretty much the same otherwise. Um, so one program running at once. Um, no exceptions. Control C normally closes a program. If it doesn't, you're screwed. Um, back when they had DOS, there was no real command to shut down. Because DOS was around before Unix was. DOS, um, you just basically... Um, uh, basically just quit out of the program you were running and then plug the computer or flip the switch to off 
depends how old the computer is. Um, whether it has a nice switch or if it's so old, you just have to unplug it. Um, but anyway, so that's a um, nice convenience of um, DOS. So, like I said, nothing's case sensitive. File extensions are everything. Can't go without file extensions. Like, you need file extensions. They're what tells the computer how what a file is. Unlike in Unix, um, you have different types of files like executables, directories, regular files, streams, uh, sticky bit, all the other types of files. Um, so that's a little DOS for you. Um, so now I'll go into the Unix side. I'll just open Terminal. It's the access point through a Mac to Unix. On Unix, of course ls works um, in unix all the commands instead of just being in c colon backslash are all in your path so if you type um, echo dollar sign left curly brace path right curly brace it'll show you everywhere it looks for commands slash user slash bin slash bin slash user s bin s bin user local bin user x11 bin you can also um, add stuff to your path if you would like um, but on Windows, it's just one specific place. Okay, so we can um, cd to slash. Everything comes off of slash. That's what everyone loves about Unix that I know who. Everyone who loves Unix loves it and enjoys this sensation. Everything's on slash. If you plug in another hard drive, like say I have a thumb drive and I plug it in, it'll get mounted to somewhere. Um, when it gets mounted, it's it looks like a directory on the computer, just like I've mounted MacHeads101.com. I can see what's on the website, so I've mounted this on Unix. Startup files can be anywhere in Etsy, in Etsy init D. Like I can go to Etsy init dot D. Like there, there, there are a bunch of startup files that get run on the computer um, when you start up and you can have as many as you want it's not just one file that executes line by line you can have as many shell scripts as you want because much more happens on Unix since you can have as many processes running as you want of course on Unix there are also users so there's a password file and everything the users are a nice nice great thing I, I'm sure most of you know what users are um, on DOS, there are no users. DOS is one user. It's really insecure. Yeah. With Unix, each user, there's a config file that says all the users' home folders, everything on a user. Um, and you can have groups, and certain groups can have certain permissions. Oh, file permissions. On Unix, of course, you can set file permissions so that specific people can read, write, execute it. And the user owns a file. And files are either executable, regular files, or directories. Um, okay, so that that's just um, another security thing, I'll have to say. The thing with that is, even if you set file permissions, someone can just steal your hard drive and read your files, but whatever. There, there are a lot more things that automatically come with it, like all, most of the home directories are in one place, like slash users or wherever. Um, you can um, do ls lr ls comes with it. Um, there, instead of um, a command being like um, dir slash s, it's ls dash r. So um, a, instead of slashes, it's dashes um, because slashes make up the file system on Unix. It's always slash something, slash something on DOS. It's drive colon backslash and then all the crud, and that's kind of annoying. Whenever you plug in a device, it goes to another drive letter, and you can't have more than, you know, 26 devices plugged into your computer. That's too bad, so, yeah. Um, you can do a lot of things on this Unix. You know, like, there, there are just a lot more options. It's, um, it's more modern. Like, there's a shutdown command, a halt command, which just literally dumps everything and just goes to hell. So, that, that might not be the best idea, but whatever. So... That, that's just um, Unix versus DOS. Of course, with Unix, the file system is um, case-sensitive. I'd say 
you can't really compare these two against each other because one of them's from long before the um, Unix. Like DOS came way before Unix, and DOS left. Um, DOS has already left. I think that Unix will is, end up taking over the world. There's one DOS. There are hundreds of Unixes out there. Linux, you know, any any Unix thing, and of course DOS is made by Microsoft, and yeah. So um, anyway, that's um, like a brief um, insight of DOS versus Unix. Um, nothing really um, bad about either of them. It's just that DOS is less modern and less secure. That was really before people worried about security. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, Mac Heads. Um, and goodbye.